Welcome to Palolem. I arrived here yesterday and I'm headed now to the beach. It's like this little, small little walkway right by where I live, where, where I'm staying right now. Um, so it's been, uh, it's been really nice so far. I have managed to, so I, I roamed around yesterday, last night. Um, I just kind of got the feel of Palo Lam at night and now I'm here during the daytime I'm crossing through this like little tiny like village <laughs> to get to the beach I love it here I absolutely love it here the Sun the people the quiet it's so much more quiet so much more peaceful than the north um, that's what the south is known for it's just it's like peace and quiet and like um, the lack of tourists that there are still a few as you can see staring at me um, but it's definitely more of like a village especially where I'm at which is deep south Kanakona and um, despite that I still feel like if there is like a pretty good mix there's a good balance of you know a little bit of nightlife and beach life and local life Oh my god, the sand feels so different. It's so soft. Holy crap, this is a different vibe, y'all. I'm at Paolo Lam. the last day in Goa. I'm wrapping up my two-week adventure here and I am at Nathri um, Valley. So this whole trip, the one thing that I was trying to find was um, a waterfall trek and uh, I finally managed to get one here in Nathri Valley. It's called the Saveri Waterfalls. So it's about an hour out from Paolo Lem in South Goa and uh, we managed to, you know, take a scooty out and get here. And um, then it's just sort of like a 20 minute walk downhill. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's so green, lush, and um, I can't wait to jump into the waters. I cannot wait. Like it has been a two weeks of a lot of swimming, a lot of beaches. This is gonna be a different vibe altogether. So I'm really, really excited. So, Ooh, the sunlight looks so pretty on me. Here we go. 